Hey guys, it's Jonathan Ogden here, and uh, it's been a little while since I did one of these talking videos here on YouTube, but I have a bunch of updates. Firstly, I just got back from a trip to South Korea. Um, I did a little vlog of my trip last time I went, last year, so I was going back this time, uh, hanging out with some of the same people, the crew from Levistans and the Korea House of Prayer, and they were running their own David's Tent event, which uh, if you've seen my videos on David's Tent in the UK, it's like 72 hours of non-stop worship, and uh, when they asked me to come and be a part of the one in Korea, I couldn't say no. I had to go. So I'm gonna just show footage of the whole Korea trip on the side while I'm like talking. It's gonna be like one of those TikTok videos where people try and keep your attention span by showing like people playing Subway Surfers next to the podcast video. The Korea trip was amazing. Obviously, I love Seoul. If you saw my videos last time, you know that by now. But to go and be a part of this David's Tent event, 72 hours of non-stop worship and prayer was just amazing. We traveled out to this resort in uh, Pyeongchang, which is like out where the Winter Olympics were held. And so it was this really cool, like, mountain region and we just gathered in this place to worship and pray for 72 hours straight. I led a kind of solo piano devotional session but I also led worship with Levistance which was amazing. I'm actually such a big fan of those guys and I love watching their worship videos on YouTube. If you haven't seen them you need to check them out. But we got to lead worship together and we kind of like went back and forth between English and Korean and just it was just a really beautiful time and we sang a lot about the Lord's return and um, we sang my song Jesus my beloved and we stayed on that like bridge section for about 20 minutes, just like singing all these spontaneous choruses about um, waiting for the Lord's return and like being on fire in that waiting season. And yeah, it was just a really special time. And there were also some teams there from Upper Room Dallas, from Dunamis in Brazil, from IHOP KC, from Dwelling Place in Anaheim. And it was just a really special time worshiping together with the Korean church, but also from like people all around the world that came to be a part of this event. Just being able to stand with them for the things that they're contending for as a nation um, I really believe it's significant for like what the Lord's doing in the kingdom storyline all around the world right now. Exciting things are happening in Korea and it was really just an honor to be a part of it. And of course I couldn't go to Korea without extending my trip a little bit to spend some time in like the best coffee shops in the world. Um, and meeting some good friends of mine and just really getting inspired creatively. And uh, South Korea is a great place for that because they just do things so well. The design, the aesthetic of everything. Um, as a graphic designer myself, it really like filled up that creative tank. And so I'm coming back from this trip very inspired, having just spent great time with Jesus and with his church and with community, and also just like creatively full of inspiration, which is great. Although I am a bit jet lagged, to be honest. And the timing of this trip may have been a little bit crazy because this leads me nicely into my second announcement, which is I am going on tour. Ta -da! When I released my album Future Forever last year, I really felt there was a very clear message that this album contained and I think I started to feel a little nudge from the spirit early this year just to like take this message and this album to actual places and venues and rooms full of people and yes there's something about the message that can be portrayed through Spotify and through like listening to your songs on YouTube and all of that stuff but I think there's something about the message of the songs going out in a real place with real people singing these songs together and creating a kind of experience and beautiful artistic display around the album and around the message of these songs. And so I started to plan a tour and my goodness it has been a lot of work. I've toured with my band Rivers and Robots before but I just forgot how much goes into doing this and uh, this is my first time touring as a solo tour but like with a full band again and with a whole team. I knew that if I'm gonna go out on the road, I don't wanna do this on my own and I don't wanna burn myself out by trying to do everything myself. So I've been bringing in some friends to help me do this. We're touring with seven people. So we're gonna have two of my good friends in the band, Caleb and Gideon. They're gonna come and play drums and keys. I'm bringing my own sound tech and my own lighting tech. And we're actually like custom designing a whole stage like visual setup including if you've seen like the rainbow cover art we're like building a whole metal thing of this shape that we're gonna like use led and backdrops and projection and all this cool stuff it's like custom built and designed for this tour it's a little crazy it's a little expensive but maybe it's that creative part of me that kind of graphic designer musician side but I just love to create an experience. I'm like, if I'm gonna tour, if I'm gonna travel and take this experience on the road, I want it to be something that's really unique and really creative because I believe that art has a way of pointing people to the Lord. Like when we create something beautiful, it directs our eyes and our attention to the beautiful one. I don't just want this to be a concert of like, cool, good songs, the end, but actually 
an experience that draws people's hearts and minds to like turn their attention to Jesus again. The message of this album is a message of hope. It's all about looking ahead to the future and knowing the end of the story that we get to be with Jesus forever and that whatever we're going through right now, our current circumstances, we can have hope because we know where this is going. I really want this tour to bring strength and bring hope to weary souls all around the world. You know, wherever you're at, whether you've like been in church your whole life and you're coming in pumped up and ready to go or whether you're like, feeling tired and burnt out and just on that journey in your faith, or maybe you're not even a Christian, but I want this to be a place that everyone feels welcome to come and just experience something beautiful and leave with hope and leave with joy and leave with just another glimpse of the goodness of God. So we're creating this whole experience. It's very exciting, a whole lot of work, honestly. And uh, I was even working on the tour while I was in Korea, taking my laptop everywhere. I've just been like constantly on calls and in group chats and sending voice memos and trying to get this thing organized. So we're starting this tour in Europe where I live and the all of the European dates are now announced. We're going to Manchester, London, Paris, Schwelm, which is like near Wuppertal, near like Cologne and Dusseldorf and all those places. Hanover, Berlin, Eid in the Netherlands, and then we're coming back to Edinburgh to finish back in the UK. And inevitably when I share the tour dates, everyone says, come to this place, come to this place. Now, we're trying to bring this tour to as many places as we can. Uh, October, we're gonna be coming to Asia. We're still working on the exact dates and the exact places for that, but that is the plan. Next year, we're looking at bringing it to even more places. So I see all of your messages and comments saying, come here, come there, but just know that I wanna to come to as many places as I can and I'm working on it. So here's three ways that you can get involved with this tour. Number one, if you're in Europe and near any of these places, you can get tickets right now. They're all on sale and please do get tickets. A lot of people like to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to that. And they put it in the calendar and then they'll get a ticket like the day before the venue. But honestly, it helps us so much if you get tickets in advance. Some of the concerts are already very close to selling out. So do not wait to show up on the door get your ticket in advance. Number two, tell your friends, invite people along. Even if you don't live in Europe, you might have some people on your Instagram who live in Europe or people you may know. Just sharing about the tour, sharing the little graphics that are on my social media pages, um, giving it a little repost, that can help somebody see that lives near one of these places and that might bring someone to the concert that needs to be there. And so we have no marketing team besides posting online and social media and so if you guys can help us spread the word, it means so much to us. We're really just trying to get whoever needs to be there to be there. And um, I've done so many tours where the day after we leave somewhere, someone sends me a message like, when are you gonna come to this city? And I'm like, we were just there and they had no idea. So I sometimes feel like I'm spamming people to keep posting about the tour, but I just want people to know that we're actually here, that we're coming and that this is available for them to come to. And thirdly, if you just wanna support the tour, we actually have a little deck, which I will put in the description um, of like ways that you can sponsor this tour, even financially. Maybe you can like help pay for somebody's ticket that you can't go, but you want somebody else to be able to go. Because to be honest, this tour is a missional effort. A lot of the team are you know, giving their time and their energy to come and do this. And to be honest, it's a huge financial undertaking. And so I don't think I've ever spent this much money on doing anything ever. And so it's, uh, it's a pretty huge step to take just to be on the road and to go on this tour and to plan future things. We're kind of just hoping it will come back through ticket sales, but we really do need like extra support just to be able to like cover the costs of actually getting out there and doing this thing. It's a lot, let's just say that. So if you just feel it in your heart, like I wanna support these guys doing this mission and doing this tour, I can't be there, but I wanna give something, um, check out the links in my description. There's a little PayPal link where you can just send a donation and you can check out the slides just to get more info about like what we're actually doing on this tour and why we need support. And the last announcement is I just released a new song. It's called Without Love. It's based on 1 Corinthians 13. And it's part of an EP that I recorded back in January in Virginia. And there's a lyric video on my YouTube channel. It's on all the usual Spotify, Apple Music things. But this is the first of five songs that I'm gonna be releasing from this EP. And uh, they're gonna be coming out kind of a month at a time. So keep an eye out for the other ones. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the more kind of acoustic stripped back in the room feel of these songs. Um, I certainly had a lot of fun making the EP and um, I hope that comes across as you're listening. So, all right, that's all I have to share. They're the updates. Um, bless you guys. Thank you for sticking with me on this journey. Uh, we just crossed 200K subscribers on this channel, which is amazing. I never thought we'd get anywhere near this number of people following me and my little music journey that I make from my living room. But uh, I appreciate it so much. God bless you guys and I'll see you soon. to love